Hi David, I've set up the Turk's Head that you emailed me about, 59 parts and 5 bytes. I've re reduced the strand gap size to point naught 2. And this is what we get. Now your first question, using these slashes etc. If you actually print out this document at the top, Advanced Grid Maker Settings, collated by Steve Harris, that goes into some explanation about these. I don't actually use them myself, I'll show you why in a minute, but yes you can still use them. For example, let's click on this slash here from lower left to upper right. Click on that and I can click on the diagram and it will change the over and under crossing. Now that, that seems like quite a laborious process to me with something this big but sure they do still work. As I say I don't use them. What I would tend to do is let me uh, reset this first. I'm going to start from scratch. I said a strand gap size of 0 0.02. I used 59 parts, 5 bytes, column coding, standard grid, and there we go. I would also, incidentally as I mentioned in my videos, tick this consolidate overs and unders box because it can make the run list easier to read. I just do that out of habit now. Okay, you mentioned for example going over 2 and under 3. So I'm going to change the column code into over over under, under, under. And I've got to see how this looks. And that's done the job for me. As I say, I've not found a use for these slashes, crosses, etc. I'm not sure what this K and Y does. Maybe I'll have to look at Steve's document again. Your next question regarding strand length and coming down here we look at the diameter it says um, 0.83 centimeters diameter I don't worry about this myself because what I would do is take my cylinder or in your case walking stick look at the first half cycle from A1 to B5 and actually wrap round my wrap my cord round the walking stick and see how much I used. I'm going to need 10 times that length because there are 10 half cycles if you remember which is twice the number of bytes basically so I would measure how much I was using from A1 to B5 on the first run and multiply that by 10 Sometimes, of course, you do tie Turk's heads and double the strand, you know, follow itself round again. Now, if you've got to do that, obviously you need to multiply by 20. But that's how I measure my required strand length. I did play for a while with the strand width on here, but I wasn't really too happy with the measurements it was giving me at the bottom. I'd much rather do it by hand. Your final question regarding finishing off the top of the walking stick. Uh, now I don't know whether it's straight or curved, but I would generally finish those things off with another Turk's head or a pineapple knot. Anyway, I hope some of that has helped and has answered some of your questions.